there is a message that I wanted to get across in this video that I think is super important, so stick around. <sighs> Man. This might be a hard video to make, dude. This might be really tough. Oh my God, I didn't even think about the backlash that I might get from this. Oh, we gotta do it though, we got to, we have to. There's no there's no way around it anymore. I, I, we have to talk about it. What's up everybody? HD Hayes here, just coming back at ya. You clicked on the video, you know what, what's about to go down and it, it might be going down a little bit differently than how you, um, you'd hope it goes down. So while you watch this video, I know you're probably a fan of Black Bear. Try to keep an open mind. This is just my opinion. This doesn't mean that your opinion's wrong or that this is the right opinion at all. This is, I'm literally just a dude with ears <laughs> that listens to music and that makes music. I know y'all watch me because I'm entertaining or I'm funny or whatever you think or whatever, but this is, um, this is a pretty serious topic, man. Uh, let's talk about it. Let's talk about Black Bear's anonymous album. Let's dive in. The first thing I wanna just say is that my parents have always taught me the lesson of, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. And I try to live my life by that as much as I possibly can, but in this situation, I feel like I need to break that rule, even though Black Bear is one of my favorite artists of all time. But I wanna make this known, and I wanna make this heard that even if an artist is your favorite artist, like favorite, bar none, best artist that you, you like, it is completely okay to critique them. It's, that's what artists need to hear, baby. That's what we need to have more of in this world, is real ass critiques. And I'm gonna do my best to try to address some of the issues that I found in Black Bear's album. If you haven't noticed already, um, I didn't like it. I know, it's kind of a bummer. Actually, it's a huge, it's a huge bummer because I was really anticipating something that I could listen to for like the entire rest of the year. And unfortunately, it's just not gonna be that. And I'm gonna tell you why. So let's address the pros of the album so far. The production value is top notch. The sounds that he's doing now, I can feel him straying away from the trap shit and more into the, like the more pop, you know, there are certain sounds like snares and kicks and percussive elements that I found really refreshing in the album. I think they were really, really cool to hear in that moment. And I really am glad that Black Bear's doing that kind of shit because I love that kind of, I love that kind of shit. And that's about it for the pros, honestly. <laughs> I really only liked probably two songs off the whole album, man. Yeah, my favorite songs were Drug Dealer. Overall, very, very good song. And honestly, if I had to pick another one, probably High One Time. I... If there was, and I'm gonna try to not be like overly mean about this, but I have to be real with y'all. It, the first word that came to my mind when I wanted to review this album after I heard it for the first time, I listened to the whole album a few times, but the first time was just effort. Like, effort. Bear. Mr. Bear, dude. It's so apparent in like every song that like, his vocals are just, they sound lazy and they sound like lackadaisical and like, hold on. I just used that word correctly on the first try? I think these glasses are starting to work, brother. <laughs> All right, back to the video. And like, he's not in it. And I think like maybe that comes from you know, him being sober, and I'm so glad he is sober because like, that's so important for musicians because it's different when you smoke or when you drink and make music for when you actually just go and you make music. It's, it's an ins inspirational kind of like passage and whatnot, and I get that. I smoke when I, you know, do my music and shit over here all the time, but when you become sober, I guess there's a switch up and it sounds differently and it just doesn't sound like his heart's in it. It's just so apparent 
in the production of his vocals. I hear the artifacts, the auto-tune is sloppy, the, the, the performance of it is just sloppy. It just sounds like he didn't, he didn't really try. And I hate that, because I know he is trying. I, can, I know that he is, but it, it's not, it didn't translate for me. The next thing is <laughs> the vocal run. We all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get that that's Bear's thing, but dude, he's putting it in places where it just doesn't belong. It's like a producer tag. Not every producer tag puts their tag in the beginning of every single beat, you know? And he doesn't do it for every single song, but he does it for a lot. Every song's gotta start sounding the same if you do the same vocal run and everything. But the lyrics, dude, I, I, I guess it is just me growing up. The lyrics just don't, they don't hit me like they used to. Like on the older shit, I really felt that, I guess. And this stuff is just, I feel like it's more of the same. You can only sing about your heart being froze over so many damn times, dude. Like another part of the production that I really felt might have been good if he used it in a, in a better way was the vocal chops. I, there's a lot of vocal chops throughout the album that simply did not work. Vocal chop, in my opinion, is something that's catchy for a hook, right? But when you use them, the melodies just weren't capturing. They just weren't catchy. I, I, I gravitate to very catchy melodies, like super catchy. I know a lot of people aren't into that kind of shit. Me personally, I love the super catchy shit. I think it's awesome. And I just think that he wasn't going for that vibe for the album, which is totally cool. I just didn't fuck with it. And I didn't want to sit down and have you guys like watch me, you know, for 23 minutes reacting super poorly to this album because it was boring. I, I recorded myself with my phone in my car because I listened to the album in my car. And it was just like, it was a very boring video. It was very boring. And I didn't want to put you guys through that because one, it was going to be short. It was going to be like seven minutes or like eight to 10 minutes. And that's just boring. And I know you guys deserve more than that. So I kind of wanted to give you guys this video as an apology and also why. But look, that's all I'm really going to say about the album. I'm sure you guys have all your own opinions about everything, but look, there's a message that I wanted to get across in this video that I think is super important, so stick around. So here's the issue that I see a lot on Twitter and on Instagram, just all the time, and it's the fact that when an artist comes out with a album or a song that you, you, don't enjoy, it is so vastly important to not attack them and to not you know, just send them negativity and saying, oh, I'm just so disappointed. Oh, oh, I hate, I hated this album. Why did you do this? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, the album sucks. For the fans, for the real diehard fans, you know? So listen, if you're disappointed with the album, like I am, I don't want you to shut up because this is what happens nowadays. These artists come out with these albums and they have one of two responses. They have the bad response or the good response. And there's two kinds of bad responses. The bad responses are the haters and the people that go, oh, I hate this. I hate this album. You suck. You're changing. You're different. Go back to the old you. That's so, oh my God. Do you realize how horrible that is to just tell a human being, hey, I don't like who you've become. Go back to that. Go back to what you used to do. Go back to abusing drugs and almost killing yourself. It's horrible, man. So don't attack the artist like that. And then the other bad option is you go, okay, this is my favorite artist. I have to like what they do. So I'm gonna pretend that I like this album for as long as he's promoting it until the next single or the next album because I don't care. It's Black Bear, it's Troy Sivan, it's, you know, BTS, it's anything, it's, it's all of them. I, I stand them, I'm a stan, so I have to like them. And like, dude, that's so unhealthy for you and the artist because fans need to learn how to grow with the artist. And if you grow out of artists, that's fine, but it's so important to just show them don't tell them, show them 
that you love them still and that you're with them supporting them. You can support an artist and not listen to their music. 100%. You can support artists in so many different ways other than listening to their music. I love Black Bear. I'm supporting Black Bear by just making this video and telling you guys that, hey, I didn't like the album, but you should go listen to it. You might really like it, you know? But it's just so important for that. And then the good response is obviously, hey, I really like this album. I think it's really dope. I love what you're doing. Keep doing it, you know? That's just kind of where my head's at with the Black Bear album. I'm sorry I didn't get it up. Um, I just didn't want to have you guys sit through that boring ass 23 minute video of me just being like, yeah, it's okay. That's kind of cool. You know, like, so anyway, that's where my mind is about this whole thing. If you have any opinions, leave them in the comments. I read every single comment, y'all. Every single one. I read and like literally every single one of them. I try to, I really do. But go leave a comment, tell me what you think. Tell me if you think I'm an idiot, go ahead. If you think I'm a hater, I don't really care. Give this video a like and a thumbs up. But other than that, I have a new song out right now. It's called Games, go stream it. It's one of my favorite songs I've ever made. It would really mean a lot to me. Link is in, in the description. Thank you guys for listening, I appreciate you. Feel free to send me songs and artists you want me to listen to in the future. I'll be more than happy to, to sit down and make a video for some of the ones that I really, really enjoy. Um, thank you so much, I'll see you soon. I'll see you on the internet. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and all that fun shit. I'll see you guys later, peace. Also, quick shout out to my boy David for the merch. This is his uh, his company, Las Cruces. It's really really fucking dope. I, I, I fuck with this shirt a lot. Go check it out. Um, but yeah, man. Hope you guys have a great day wherever you are in the world. Go stream games. And go stream and listen to Anonymous. Tell me what you think about it. Talk to you guys later. Peace.